Hi there, I'm back again. Um, my name is Rani, and I'm going to teach you English. This is my name. Rani. Now, today, I'm going to teach you a bit of pronunciation. Um, I know that everyone has a little bit of difficulty um, speaking and also listening to uh, native English pronunciation. So we're going to dive right into this right away. There, I have picked four words. They all begin with the letter B. Okay? And the first word is bird. Does anyone know what a bird is? It's not like a chicken. It is a chicken. A bird is a small animal or a large animal that flies around, okay? So, when we say this word, we go bird. In Canada, it is very cold. Ugh. When we say that we're cold, we go brr. Everyone try, pretend you're in Canada. Right now, outside, it's minus 13 degrees. Alright, so what you're going to do is imagine you are very, very cold and you go brr and then d bird. Okay? In Toronto, we have a very famous uh, baseball team called the Toronto Blue Jays. A blue jay is a kind of bird. So you can remember. Toronto Blue Jays, very cold, bird. Got it? Perfect. The second word that begins with a B, I talked a little bit about last lesson. Last lesson we did um, parts of your face and facial hair. This word for the men, please, is when you have facial hair all over the bottom of your face. Anyone remember what that word is called? Sounds like one of my favorite drinks. Beard. Check out the spelling on this one. This is weird. B E A R D. Okay? We spell a very popular Canadian drink, beer. These words sound the same. Except for the facial hair, we put a D. Okay? The spelling, as you can see, is very different. But the sound, the way we say it, is the same. Just to help you remember, I'm going to draw you a picture. This is a man, and he has a beard. This man's hobby is drinking beer. So, ooh. you can remember, bearded man likes to drink beer. Perfect. Okay, so we've got two B words. I told you we we're going to do four. The next word that we have to do is bear. Arr! A bear is another kind of animal. Do you have bears in your country? We have bears in Canada. I've never seen a real live bear except at the zoo. Have you been to a zoo? They're like animals in cages. Anyways, the way we say this animal is bear. We have another word that sounds exactly like this word, but we spell it differently. If we say something's bare, it means there are no clothes on it, or it's <gasps> naked. Hmm. So, these two words, notice the spelling is different. They are said exactly the same. We have lots of these in English. Don't worry, I'll teach you them. Can't teach you all of them, but I'll teach you some. Bare and bare. Okay? So, 
the way that you're going to remember a bear, I'll leave that up to you. But you can remember that in Canada, we have polar bears, which are white, and grizzly bears, which are brown. And you might not want to have a cuddle with them. I don't know. That's up to you. So, I want you to pronounce these words one more time. We have the animal, which is really big, which is a bear. If you have no clothes on, you are also bear. The other word that we learned today is bird. Remember Toronto? In Canada it's very cold and we say brr. We have a baseball team called the Toronto Blue Jays. The Blue Jays are a kind of bird. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The next word that we learned is the facial hair for men called a beard. I explained that a man with a beard his favorite drink is beer. This is the hard part. What I'd like you to do to practice this at home is to say all of these words one at a time. We have bear, bird, beard, and beer. So please give that a try at your house. And if you'd like to, you can visit us at www.engvid.com where you can have a nice little quiz on this. You can test yourself. Until next time, I'll see you later.